you know, my overall outlook on the, the VMAs, the Belize Music Awards, I feel like um, conceptually, yeah, yeah, no, certainly that was, that was a good thing. The idea itself is very good because, you know, at the end of the day, that we have to do for we. And that, that the idea at the, at the Belize Music Awards is, is for make me you not know, wait for the outsiders, so to speak, but we award each other for the hard work and therefore we could be encouraged to go into the world and start swimming with the rest. You understand me? So, um, mm-hmm. overall, I think that was a good idea. However, I feel like that they have so many, so many, um, areas of improvement with, which we need for, for pay attention to. One of the reasons why I decide to call you and have this conversation is simply because you touched on several points that myself and several other lot of people addressed just before the event. How do you feel about the nomination process? Well, I feel like the nomination process is, is unfair, you understand me? And, and the voting process is, is unfair because, um, like I said, it, um, when my management was called, you know, I was present, and you know, we were told that how um, the nomination basically they, they, you're supposed to submit yourself. So basically, you're supposed to ask, "Can I be a part of this award show?" That was submission. Me, you're asking to be a part of something, right? And then afterwards, you are um, the artist. So a quote-unquote artist committee. Now, this artist community does not have to qualify in any any way. All they have to do is say. I want to be in it. So as an artist now, who most artists I pretty sure would agree that put everything into their music, you to put your your life work in the hands of people who do not even have to qualify, to, uh, who don't even have to qualify to be qualified to judge your work. You understand me? So Joe Blow for any way could just call and say, hey, I have been in the industry. I want, you understand me? I want to judge this, this person and boom, they're in it. To judge you, you understand me? You know, and right. then um, another reason why that's not fair is because you know the in every everything has its own politics, right? So the music, the police music industry itself has its own poli- politics, have its own people that they favor and uh, that they want to see win and want to see successful. So therefore, if you are that one of those people, you understand me? Then you should. But what if you're not? What if the Belize music, the people who are these artist community from the Belize artist community, what if they're not like you? Then you're screwed. Whether or not you're good, you're screwed. Because what's the chances that somebody don't like you and still, you understand me, treat you fairly? Right, right. So you were contacted to be a part of this event. Why, what specifically, why did you refuse to be a part of it? Well, I, I refuse for more than one reason. One, as I don't believe that that we should have to submit. Last year I was a part of the show. I didn't have to submit anything. You know, they just sift it where they sift it, you understand me? But for I know I asked to be a part of something when I know that same thing is not fair and it's not right and it's just a talent I mean not a talent show but um um a cal- uh, um popularity contest. So because afterward if I had cho- chosen to be a part of it then what I have to say now would be irrelevant, right? Because that would mean that I know that Iran, but I still choose to be a part of it. And then why have to say afterwards? You get the sense? Right, right. Okay. So that, now, that's that's you, the main you, reason. Now, they, there seems to be a contention on your part, and a lot of people that I, I, I personally know have a contention where this is regarded as well, Paranda Music. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Paranda Music is, is, is uh, an indigenous music. You understand me of the Garisana people of the uh, and uh, of the Belizean people is one of the the grassroots music. It is Belizean music. What you understand me? And mm-hmm. listen to me. How you have a Belizean music awards without indigenous music? It, it, com- it makes no sense whatsoever. How you see this? Uh, this is the thing where I make where I make absolutely clear. My contention is not with the inclusion of outsiders' music is with the exclusion of Belizean music. You, it's like, you know, you let a step five where you are include outsiders' music, but you don't do step one, which is including your own music. That is a disrespect to, 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 to the music, to Belize, to, to, 
to artists who, who produce paranda music, to artists who are slapping at the face because we're on the palace, what I think. You get the sense? You know the yeah, honor and the palace in a, in a no way. How are you not, how, how and the palace do so much for we and yet still there's no honor, there's no homage. You get the sense? You know? Right, right. So, right. A lot of people but yet and still, share. yet and, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, a lot of people share the exact sentiment and, you know, I hope that this will not create multiple contention among other people and the promoters or not promoters but organizers of this event because it's a process. Um, it yeah. is very small and we are somewhat just tapping into this. So I hope that from this conversation, this dialogue will will provoke others to to talk and, and, and have a healthy dialogue about it so we exactly. can become better and make wider listen, decisions. Now, listen, uh, go ahead. Listen, listen, King, my, my, my intention is not to offend you. Know? You understand me? That is not my intention, but you understand me because I see, like I say, I mean it. I don't just attack when I say I big up the promoters and the organizers who even have the thought process uh, whereby they decide let's have something that is Belizean for Belizean. I pick them up and I know that nothing Nothing no get developed overnight. You understand me? The Grammy Award is not what it was years and years ago. It got better over time. And I just feel like we need to put the ego on the side. You get a sense? And really that's not the thing. I mean there's certain things you cannot really argue. We are in Belize having um that would be equivalent to you know, how it's fair to say like um Paranda, Brock Dung, that type of music is equivalent to reggae. Do you think um uh, uh Jamaica would ever have a award show and have a believe first of all a Punta Rock category period but have a Punta Rock category and not have a reggae category I can't see that they happen in the future I can't see it they happen so why we do it you understand what I mean it's like honestly sometimes better enough than enough I see that Jamaica me me see that Jamaica laugh after we birds I see that laugh after we me with my own eye I see that clung we because are the imitation that w- w- how we want who we the dead to be there so so bad and they just look how we are lost. You understand me? Right, right. Well, and, I, I bet a lot of people will be listening to this right now and just nodding in agreement, saying, "Yeah, you're right, you're right." But let's touch on something else, just because mm-hmm. of time. Time is not real on our side right now. Oh, um, no problem. The imbalance of the entire process. We have upcoming artists and we have seasoned artists. Let's talk about that. Yeah. All right, King. Put it like this. That, to me, that's our no-brainer. You understand me? In a boxing, you have weight class. Why is there a weight class? Why Why? Why you not just make me a fight anybody with just getting at the ring? Why? For a reason, because it would kill the... Who has boxing? It, it would be too predictable. It would become boring. It would become uh, uh, bogus. And that's what, that's most of the comments I've heard about the Belize and Music Awards. And I must agree. It's bogus, but why is it bogus? Because there are no standards whereby it's a heavyweight going up against a heavyweight. You understand me? So if you have a, if you have veteran artists who put out records and quality records, you if you have people who are borderline in legend, you understand me? You understand me? Super D, for example, because that's specifically who I'm going to talk about this year. Specifically, make no mistake. This is not, let me be clear though. Let me be clear before I go any further. This is not all about why hating on Super G. I respect Super G music. I respect Super G as an artist. Super G do a lot for the business and for me personally in my career. You understand me? Period. So this is not a, a attack on Super. However, I must say that for me, Super they go up against people where, no disrespect to them, but we don't really have a name. You understand me? We, we don't do nothing. But then they go up against Super. Obviously, he a win. Obviously, you want to see you want to see people go head to head where the competition is close. That would make um, the award show more interesting. You understand me? Mm-hmm. I feel like it was completely unfair. Make up, make me go to the point. The songs they got a song here, Tamita for a youth named Vida. They got Joe Grind, which I remix with Method to Bigs do a song, Bounce right there. Reckless to Trimble it. You understand me? I know they include myself because I know they're not the awards, right? Mm-hmm. But, and then you have, uh, Peck, uh, Mickey Bona, Pepper, for Super. I mean, it is real. I would say, me and Super, when we have a conversation, I would tell Addison, he knows he's in a heart, unless he's in a denial. 
all of those songs bigger than the man song. Who don't know Yetamita was the Yetamita and the Joe Grant song, I mean the biggest song for nineteen. Which for eighteen night, which that is the uh, in my opinion the biggest show in a Belize for for Belize and the you know Belize and show for Belize yeah. and people. You have songs. Okay, the pe- it so happens that the people that has the had the big bigger songs this year did not come from the, the, the people who had the biggest name. Does that make sense? So the bigger songs mm-hmm. didn't come from the people with the big names. But yet still the people with the big names they win. So what that does to the youth, not even the youth, but the upcoming artists is this 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 it uh discourages them from wanting to produce music, period. I don't think there are people put themselves in at this and they don't mean nothing today, you know. I've gotten calls today, you know. They call me, you know. I said, oh, but people hurt. It's because it's wrong. And then another thing, they get freed, dog. They get intimidated because they don't want to rock the boat. Nobody want to seem like the trouble. So they take their lick and they call me and they gripe. Or they call whoever and they gripe. So mm-hmm. somebody need somebody need to speak. You understand me? Like I said, I don't know what disrespect, but somebody need to speak. And in your heart, you, you know what? Right is right. How can one person say it is Bona, but that was a bigger song than, than, than Hit Amita? How, that doesn't make sense. Or, or Joe yeah, Grimes, right. our method. So, so, so why did they didn't win? Not, was, in, a, in a nutshell, right. in a nutshell, I just want to highlight what you're saying. Um, yeah. I want to highlight your contention. The, the whole idea behind your contention is that you think that it's more of popularity than exactly. quality or the best. Yeah, exactly. And I want to so, make this clear, King. I want to make one second. I want to make this clear. Before anybody says anything, think about this. Think about what position of Boy is in. Me not the cry that I shit. You feel me? But the reason why I want to speak no, King, that, that because I know I'm weird. I don't straight no more. <laughs> that's one of my that's one of my feedback towards critics. They always wait till they dry. Their music done. Nobody know I hear there again. Then they have an opinion. No, I want to do it while I am on top of my game. You understand me? I think about it. Is the boy complaining for attention? No, I get enough of that. You understand me? The fans they show right. me enough love, and that's why I think that that that's but it's on people like me to speak up, and I could simply be like, oh, whatever, and take my three awards, I win this year, and just smile and go along. But then what about the people where they come after? What about the mu- music industry? Is Pepper Bun big, is Pepper Bun bigger than Trimble? Really? For reckless? Come on, it could be real. You right. understand me? Blah, blah, blah. We talk about our, our music slash entertainment forum before. We have to revisit that topic. But there's a lot to be said. Um, I have a lot more questions. But I'll pause for now. Pause for a yes, pause. Sir. Let's talk about your Mexico experience. You represented yes, Belize once again, and, you know, I, I really salute you. So yes, yes, sir, my man. first question regarding the Mexico experience, what was your overall outlook? Were you somewhat intimidated to some point that you don't speak Spanish fluently and that would be a stumbling <laughs> block um, between Why? you and the, the audience? Boy, listen to me, dog. That, I mean, I'm nervous to go in. You understand? Because I say, I say wait. You understand? And this is very important too for the, for the upcoming people. I, I gave myself a limitation set for me by my own fear. You understand me? And that is completely wrong. So I know none of the youth said that. You not give yourself no limitation because I got the shock of my life when I crossed the border, dog. You understand me? I me think yeah exactly what you say. I'm afraid. I say how oh, I will even communicate to their people. Me not talk Spanish. You get a sense. Me not know Spanish sounds. But once I jump the border, and I know they big up myself, but on the real, once I jump the border, the amount of love will come towards the prince. That never no joke. It's bigger. It's bigger than um um. It's bigger to equal to believe. You understand me? When the people, and, and listen to me, the biggest surprise was, to me was, that never one song, and they think, oh, maybe they are no tornado. Why the people know the catalog, I love a boy music, in a sense. Right. They know the catalog, that's, that's, listen to me, King, that's, that's King, very, listen to me. That, that, that's very impressive, continue. <laughs> listen, I can hear the mall. The first song right here, that Jasmine Lowe. I put that for my mother. Wow. The Mexico. Wow. Well, the first song I had at Jasmine Lowe, and because they don't know what I mean, then afterwards, you know, we had a stampede of people 
or whatever. But I, I wish that I interviewed somebody where they did play a song like I don't to big up myself. Then every story go a different song, a different, you know, a different song. <laughs> then when it come to the show, when time to try to come off at the stage, you hear, oh, trust, oh, trust. We get it encore. You understand me? And the lesson to me was that, that limitation that, that I, that I, that me impose that it onto my own brain. So it make I think, man, what part going to put that limitation? Man, we could go to the world. Now I come back from Mexico refreshed and us ready. You get the sense? I ready, my boy. Right. Because their people, the love of their people show the language never mean nothing. Yes, I needed some translation from station at the radio station, but it never mean anything. Nobody says, oh, we can't, we don't love this because he not the top, he not this. You understand me? And the right, next, right. the last thing no. I, the last, uh -huh, go ahead. No, 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 it's okay, proceed. Yeah. Last thing I will say is that, you know what I mean? You could do it being you. That's not a message to the, to the people. Call love a boy. You know, God never be nobody else but love a boy. Just like I to talk to you, some of you to talk past kids. You understand? Just like I dress, so I am in the dress. The redhead dress, God never be the same thing. So you know, make no matter tell you, have to switch up and be somebody else to make it. You could be successful, and you could be successful being you. Period. Right, right. Now, now, is there anywhere specific that you represented the leaves while in Mexico? Well, in any way, in everything I do, everything well, I, I do. Am, that, I am not yeah. saying that, but is there yeah. anything consciously that you were doing um, consciously for you to represent well, the leaves? No, actually, doing? actually, I just make sure, you know what I mean? I talk about, uh, you know what I mean, the Punta Rock music and, and the con. Cool. That come from in terms of beliefs and and then you know I mean, of course I just sweet believe the song you understand me and um you know certain certain things certain things I do consciously for make a, you know we represent beliefs I forget my flag by when I'm in the park I forget my flag aye aye, aye. but well, then we're going <laughs> next, next time well, I'm sure they're gonna yeah. ask for you again next time you will I don't so, actually I don't got more sure they line up to get two show instant but anyway you know why yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, exclusive. It's okay. Yes, hey, but you also you had the opportunity, the the privilege to meet the mayor and his wife. Tell us about that. Boy, that's our next shot. That kind of just like when um um Mr. Barrow, Mr. Dean Barrow called for me. You understand me? Just like that I did at the hotel. Uh, boom, the the the, the promoter called and said, Prince, you know, understand me? You need to meet certain people. I said, no problem. When we get to the house for the mayor, that can be a big deal. When the mayor, is, and this is the thing about it, it was shocked me. They're not me call the mayor. The mayor called me and he'd a fan of the music. And they're not just Tornado. Tornado was his favorite, but they're not just Tornado. Tequila was my favorite, actually, but yeah. <laughs> you know? My <laughs> son got me on tequila that made So I wonder, right. you know what I mean? I, I, I shock no. Then the wife, she, they, 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 they sang where they play for the carnival. Mexico got carnival. Me never know that neither. Was Tornado. Mm. That was that her group perform. And she showed me the video, so I soon put it up when they give me the link. You understand me? So, very good, very good. That's but I'm, I'm in love, love, God. Excellent. Hey, like I said before, time, um, I'm short on time right now. I'm, I, I'm sorry that I couldn't make it to LA to have this interview in person and have a video recording, but we definitely... I'm not going to LA right now, man. I'm not going to LA right now. I'm on the moon. The light, the light, the light, the light. Yes, sir. Hey, but on a serious note, keep up the good work. Keep on representing the news. Keep your head up. I, I remain a brother, a fan, and a supporter. Just keep up the good work, Bridget. Likewise, thank you for man. Likewise, and, and keep up the good work on your end, too. Make no mistake. The media are a big part of this, so you just do this and, and never get discouraged. Me, that just continue to do your thing, and I'll be here when the call comes in, Amalek. Yes, man. Blessing, Bridget. Right. Abba, you yes, One love. Yes, man. Abba, you say, my brother. Blessing.